Well, hello there. My name is Thomas, and today I will be showing you my Object Oriented Programming SVG Logo Maker. Firstly, we'll be going over the intro followed by the just testing, and then lastly, going over the Logo SVG Maker. The challenge of my assignment was to build a Node.js command line application that takes in user inputs that generates an SVG logo and saves it as a logo SVG file. To get started, you'll have to download or clone my GitHub repository, which you can find the link to down below. Once done, you must follow the installation process that is instructed in my readme.md file, as it has key download links and will instruct you on what to do once you click through those links. In my directory, you'll find examples, example to triangle SVG logo one, to my second example of my circle, and my example three square. You can find my library, which will contain my shapes.js, my shapes.js test, which we'll be passing a jest test through later, the module nodes, or node modules, which is currently being git ignored. So we also have the git ignore in here. We have the index.js, MIT license, just for good reasons. And then we have the logo.svg. We have the package lock JSON and the package JSON. And lastly, of course, my readme. What we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be making a logo.svg. Here, we can see the last one that I made, which was my third example, the square. So to get started, you're going to click over the index.js. You're going to right click and open an integrated terminal. By the way, I'm currently on Mac, so just a little FYI. Once you have opened up terminal, you are then going to enter into the command line node index.js. From here, you're going to get the inquirer prompts for text. So what do I want in mind? I'm going to call it SVG. Then you're going to be prompted for a text color. I want it to be white then you'll be prompted with a shape color hmm i'm thinking green and then lastly you're going to be prompted with your image choice you can either have a circle square and triangle you'll be able to navigate these with your cursors on your keyboard for this instance i'm going to be selecting a circle once you click enter the image will render and the new image no matter what was previously in the logo.svg will be now replaced. So I previously had the third example, which was my square, in there, but every time you run the command line prompt, it will refresh, it will refresh the logo.svg file. So please do keep that in mind. If you do have previous work in the newly generated file, make sure you copy your work and then paste it into your other examples or wherever it needs to be. But we have now this beautiful green logo with white text in the text SVG. So it works, which is obviously very good. Now, additionally, I did mention the shapes.test.js. I find that it's important to have this. We can run the NPM test for Jest to see if my code is going to work and render the image as it correlates to the shapes.js file. So we're going to enter npm test to see what we get. And as you can see, it's running and it has passed. So that means the circle renders correctly, the square renders correctly, and the triangle renders correctly. According to what I've given it, within my shapes test.js and shapes.js. Now, I understand that this can be 
uh, a bit of a hard assignment to understand, which is why I wanted to make a walkthrough video. So as long as you follow my readme, look at my repository, and go through the walkthrough video, you'll know what to do. And you're more than welcome of leaving a comment down below in my YouTube, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Not only that, my readme does have my work contact email, so you may reach out to me for further assistance. However, my GitHub repository is public. Everything is up there and you'll be able to see my code whenever you do need it. And you can see my code for inspiration and anyone else on GitHub, which is why I love using it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching my video. Take care and have a good day.